fucking hate this. <laughs> Someone like tagged me what I posted yesterday and like posted it. This stuff just makes me really happy. I'm reading one of my clients' check ins and they are freaking killing it. And just the things they're saying and like how I'm helping them and I can just really see a change in their mentality and like more confidence in themselves and that seriously makes me so happy. Like I was just getting a little emotional reading it but I don't know it just makes me so happy and I love seeing people kill it. I want that for other people too. There's just I know there's a lot of people who want that but there's not a lot of people who are willing to like put in the work that it takes and they think they're ready but they're not really ready to do what it takes to like make a difference in their lives and change their bodies and this specific client that I'm reading right now all my clients are great but they're just killing it they give me motivation reading this gives me motivation too like they're telling me I'm giving them motivation but it's it's being reciprocated right back and it's just so freaking cool and I just, I don't know, I had to share that. And I'm super proud. And it makes me really happy when people are changing their lives for the better. You guys do want coaching and are actually serious. Like, I want you to be ready to really hold yourself accountable. I will be holding you accountable, but hold yourself accountable to do the necessary things. Understand that you're gonna have to make some sacrifices and really push, like this isn't for contest prep, this is just for like lifestyle. But I want people who are actually serious and are here to put in work and stay on top of things. So if you think you're one of those people, email me. Email's in the description box. And you can help me try and make your life that much better. So someone asked me why I eat these. You're not supposed to eat these. You're supposed to put them in your water. But uh... I'm just like so far deep into prep that this gives me so much pleasure and I kind of started the bad habit of just eating it, but this just tastes like pixie sticks and candy. Even even people who are in prep that I have tried it, they're like, oh my god, that's so good. Don't start the habit of doing this, I'm telling you. I feel like I sound like a freaking, like, I don't even know, like a druggie. Cardio time. It's. 11 o'clock. I'm getting a really, 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 really late start. Later than I've been going. Video on Instagram. The fool! I have a reputation that is carefully cultivated. Wait here! How dare they? They make uh, your coffee the wrong way. I had an epiphany. I was repeating history.
morning honestly like everything is pretty much routine at this point i don't do ifym or macros i just do meals so the meals are the same every single day which for prep it's good it's good to get into just a routine consistency is key what you hear everybody say all the time oh, is so dumb I like play with it for it to like, kind of get more egg whites that means i gotta go to the store again <laughs> Every day. Got my oatmeal from the car. I need to give Leanne the poverty portion back. She probably doesn't care to be honest, but I told her I would. I'm gonna just have my breakfast and then I need to shower and actually wash my hair. I like try not to wash my hair too much because it just gets dirty every single day because I sweat all the time. But today the hair is going to be washed, hallelujah. So just showered, making some white rice right now because I'm out and that's what I usually have post-workout. And then I need to go do some laundry because I didn't have time to do it yesterday because they're all full because I live in like one of those places where it's not in unit, but it's okay. Um, so I have to do that and then I have to sit down and reply to some more emails, do some more work on the computer. And then I have my pre-workout meal and then go lift some shoulders. I think it's gonna be a good workout just because I love doing shoulders. Hopefully it makes me feel better about how I look today. It's so weird because I always feel so good after cardio and then the high goes away, I guess, and I'm just like calmer. So hopefully I can get back into it for shoulders. My lip gloss is clean now. When you try to start it and you don't even pay for it yet. Because I have to pay. There we go. I finally got the confirmation email for my show. I've received and approved your entry in the figure division of this year's NPC Nationals being held at blah, 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 November 17th, 18th. And it says figure prejudging will be Saturday, November 18th. First of all, it's exciting just because it's like finally approved and it's like 100%, 100% right now, even though I already paid for everything. So Nationals is a two-day show and some people go both days and some people just do everything in one day and I'm one of those people who are just doing it one day. So instead of going on Friday and Saturday, I'm just going on on Saturday. So every time I've been saying like, oh, 20 days out, 18 days out, 17 days out, I've been one off because I thought I was gonna go on Friday. So just in case you guys see that switch real quick or it's repeating, that's why um, I'm going on a day later. I'm only go going on on Saturday, so gym time. And it's shoulder day and it's Wednesday, so we wear pink and it should be a good workout because I'm wearing pink and it's shoulders. This is the definition of my life right now. <laughs> take it, take it how you please, but this right here, the fact that it still works too, that is my life. Strangely, right? Yeah. But it's very powerful to go through that experience. And that's why the first breakup's always hard for people because they're like, will I ever get this again? But when it happens, say, a few times, then you have that trust where it's like, the universe has my back, uh, <laughs> it'll all be fine. So I guess this is the different perspectives you get. When I have someone else recording me. <sighs> God, I fucking hate this. <laughs> I feel like it's, well, first of all, I'm three weeks out. So, you know, it's hard on the body. Hormones get like messed up because of low body fat and just like low calories. But I hope this is PMS. <laughs> I say that every time and it usually is. So that just like adds on times 10 to everything. 
I get like frustrated, I guess. I don't know why I'm being so emotional. Like sometimes I just like feel it and I hate it because I don't want to be. It's annoying and frustrating sometimes when you feel like you're making so much personal progress and like mental progress and emotional progress along with physical process progress and then you feel like you know something happens or whatever happens in life to try and like make you fall back a couple steps and it's just a little frustrating sometimes and I keep this stuff like out of my vlogs and like I usually try not to like talk too much about it just because I don't want it to ever be taken out of context I don't want people to assume things like no one's gonna know other than me and like my best friend probably <laughs> that's why I just don't really talk about it but you know I have my moments and this is one of them but I just try to do my best to stay aware of why I'm feeling this way I think it's like all the reasons I've said I said at the beginning of this I think it's PMS I think that's why I probably look bad too because I'm PMSing or why I think I look bad bloated watery but I'm going to try and just look at the positive and use this for my workout and get a killer workout and just zone out and just do the damn thing I guess just got done with my workout honestly I feel so much better and like a part of me doesn't like saying that cuz I was just sad and now I'm good that's what it is like that's what the gym is for me a lot of the time it really 
helps me like it really gets my mind right when i hashtag and say that in caption stuff that it gets my mind right and i sweat out the bullshit i'm not just saying that to say it like it really does that for me it's really therapy for me and i killed shoulders i wasn't feeling it at first and then i slowly started getting more into it and i'm lucky to be working out at gold's I'm happy with that gym session and I'm happy that it kind of got my mind right. It happens and I'm ready to move forward from how I felt before, but I do think the PMS is coming, but we're gonna go to the store again, <laughs> literally every single day so far. about water I don't know, weird but like I heard that they have certain water bottles here I'll show you in a sec but that's why I'm here and everything just kind of looks different so I don't know where anything is oh my god oh 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 those ones were that good mm. Oh, I need to smell these ones again. These were great. <sighs> One more. <laughs> this is so... Oh. I literally look like a weirdo. So, this is the water bottle thing. See these? These caps? If, like, you put them in your car or something and, like, you stop and it falls, this will fall off and it'll water everywhere. I speak from experience. These suck, but it's it has a handle, so I like that part. Then you have these ones, which are nice. They have a good cap that's sturdy, but then you have to hold it like this, and it's not really comfortable, and it's just like awkward. And at the one I go to, they only have those options. But here, you get the best of both worlds. You get the good ones. Good cap, good this, I can hook my keys on. The living life, people. The little things, right? Gotta change perspective. I'm, I'm good. I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. All right. So back in the store. Just gonna show you guys what I got real quick. Sterling steak. So long. They didn't have like bagged broccoli. I, mean, I don't like getting normal broccoli for some reason, but I'm gonna try this and see how it is. Just like microwavable, more oatmeal, ham spray, uh, egg whites, and then they had the spices that I really like. I got both. Now I gotta like switch off. I think I'm gonna do this one because I haven't done this one for a while because I haven't had this one in a long time. These aren't mine, but I'm gonna smell them. And I'm doing an Instagram story. So it is 9.58. Yeah, girl, get your It's 9.58 and Liam and I have a date every Wednesday at 10 o'clock. This is true. And it's Are You the One? It's our guilty pleasure. Yeah, we love say. watching it. We get really into it. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. <laughs> it's embarrassing, but I'm going to show you guys because I got to keep it real because this is all about keeping it real. Just give me a sec. So <laughs> we have a notepad. Oh my god, I'm gonna get so much shit talked to me. And basically, if you don't know what the show is, it's just like a bunch of people trying to figure out like who their perfect match is, whatever. It's honestly kind of stupid, but it's our guilty pleasure. And I'm trying to figure it out, like in a logical way, by because they do like matchup ceremonies, blah blah blah. So I literally will like write down all the things, all the people who aren't matches, and then like people going to truth booths, truth booths. And so I have like a no match, and then like we're on week five right now. So we're like, oh, Willy Wonka! But yeah, this is our thing, and then we just sit down and watch this together, and we get so into it. 